Dear students, now we are going to solve important problems to find out the primary constants of transmission Before lines. Before going to solve the problems, let's discuss important formulas to be used in this line constants. We are going to find out the line constants of the transmission line R, L, C and G using propagation constant and the characteristics impedance. By multiplying this propagation constant and characteristics impedance, we can get the value of Z. Z is nothing but series impedance that is equal to R plus J omega L. From this we can get the resistance value and inductance value. Okay. Next one is by dividing the propagation constant by this characteristics impedance we can get the value of shunt admittance Y is equal to G plus J omega C. So here we can get the values of conductance and capacitance. So these two formulas are very very important in finding out the primary constants of the transmission lines. Okay. Here the first problem. The characteristics impedance of a uniform transmission line is 2000 ohm at frequency of 1 kilohertz. At this frequency the propagation constant is 0.054 with angle 60 degree. Determine the values of line constants. So we are going to find out the values of R, L, C, G. Okay. So here the given data are the characteristics impedance of the transmission line that is Z0 as 2000 ohm. Frequency F is equal to 1 kilohertz. And here the propagation constant gamma is equal to 0.054 with angle 60 degree. In the solution part. First we have to find out the value of omega that is equal to 2 pi f. f is 1 kilohertz that is 1000. Okay. So 2 into 1000 into pi that value is 6280. Okay. Next we have to use the formula z is equal to gamma into z naught. So here gamma is equal to 0.054 with angle 60 degree multiplied with the characteristics impedance 2000 okay so we can simply multiply this two magnitude values here we can assume that angle is 0 degree okay so 0 0.054 into 2000 is 108 here 60 plus 0 is 60 is that is equal to 108 with angle 60 degree so here it is in the form of polar form we have to convert that into rectangular form okay so for that we can use calculator let me explain how the polar form is converted into rectangular form for that we can use this calculator press shift and then minus we can see this rectangular with the open bracket then we have to type the first value magnitude value 108 place comma and then the angle value 60 close the bracket and press equal we can get the value of real term as 54 here. Do you all see this? Okay. Next we have to get that imaginary value. For that we have to press alpha and then tan. You can see there is a F sign. Okay. Then press equal. We can see the imaginary value as 93.53. Do you all understand this? After converting the polar form into rectangular form, we can have the real part as well as the imaginary part. So here Z can also be represented as R plus J omega L. So we have to simply equate the real parts and imaginary parts. Then we can get R is equal to that is the resistance value is equal to 54 ohm per kilometer and omega L value is equal to 93.53. Next we have to move this omega. To this side as a denominator and substitute the value of this omega then we can get the inductance is equal to 14.89 in 10 to the power of minus 3 henry per kilometer or we can say 14.89 milli henry 10 to the power of minus 3 means milli henry per kilometer okay so next we are going to use the formula y is equal to gamma by z naught so substitute the values of gamma and Z naught here. 0.054 with angle 60 degree divided by 2000 
with angle 0. Correct? So, simply we can divide 0 0.054 with the value 2000. We can get the answer as 2.7 into 10 to the power of minus 5. And here the angle is 0 degrees. 60 minus 0 is equal to 60. Okay? In case of polar form, if you are going to divide the angle means we can simply subtract that angle. Okay? Of this here. So, here y value is equal to 2.7 into 10 to the power of minus 5 with angle 60 degree. We have to convert this into rectangular form. As I told you already, to get that rectangular form, you have to press shift and then minus sign. Okay? Shift and minus, you can get the form of rectangular with open bracket then then we can give the value 2.7 comma this 60 okay and close the bracket press equal sign we can get the real part okay if you want to get the imaginary part we have to press alpha continuously okay so alpha plus 10 okay then we can get the value of this imaginary part do you all understand this here this 10 to the power of minus 5 is common for real and imaginary term. We can take this value as such. So in rectangular form y is equal to what? 1.35 in 10 to the power of minus 5 plus j 0.338 in 10 to the power of minus 5. So here it is equal to g plus j omega c. Then we have to equate the real term as well as imaginary terms together. So g is equal to 1.35 in 10 to the power of minus 5 more per kilometer and then omega c is equal to the imaginary value 2.338 into 10 to the power of minus 5 then we can move this omega value here in the denominator finally we can get c is equal to 3.723 into 10 to the power of minus 9 farad per kilometer okay so 10 to the power of minus 9 is nothing but nano farad okay finally the answer is given here okay so the next problem is here at 8 megahertz the characteristics impedance of a transmission line is 40 minus j2 ohm and the propagation constant is 0 0.01 plus j.18 per meter okay find the primary constants so here the given data sir frequency is equal to 8 megahertz mega means 10 to the power plus 6 okay here is that not is equal to 40 minus j2 ohm per meter. Gamma is equal to 0 0.01 plus j.18 per meter. So meter is given here. So in the solution part, first we have to get the value of omega using the formula 2 pi f. Here f is equal to 8 into 10 to the power of 6. We can get the answer as 50.24 in 10 to the power of 6. Okay. And here is that not value is equal to 40 minus j2 gamma value is equal to 0 0.01 plus j.18. We have to convert that rectangular form into its corresponding polar format also. Okay, because we need to have rectangular form as well as polar form in this formula. Let me explain how to convert the rectangular form into polar form. Okay, we can press this shift and then plus sign you can see this polar form with an open bracket then we have to give the real term value that is 40 comma minus 2 correct here the imaginary term is minus 2 then close the bracket press equal symbol we can get the value of magnitude 40.049 we can simply take the value as 40 so next we have to get the value of angle for that we can press alpha tan and then press. So we can get the value as minus 2.86 degree. Okay. So this is the angle for this rectangular form. Okay. So first we are going to use this formula. Z is equal to Z naught into gamma that is also equal to R plus J omega L. Correct. Then we can write R plus J omega L is equal to Z naught value into gamma value. Simply we can multiply inside this 40 into this value is 0 0.4 and here 40 into this value is J 7.2. Similarly we can multiply each values here. Okay, here J squared is nothing but minus 1 minus into minus plus. 
then we can get r plus j omega l is equal to we have to add these two values so 0.76 plus j 7 point so this j as well as this j we can subtract so 7.2 minus 0 0.02 is 7.18 okay from this we can equate real terms together so r is equal to 0 0.76 ohm per meter and then omega l is equal to 7.18 next we have to move this omega to this right hand side in the denominator substitute the value of this omega that is 50.24 into 10 to the power of 6 okay simply we can divide these two values and this plus 6 becomes 10 to the power of minus 6 in the numerator here we can get the value as l is equal to 0 0.1429 10 to the power of minus 6 is nothing but micro okay so here l is equal to 0 0.1429 micro henry per meter okay so next we are going to use the formula y is equal to gamma by z naught that is also equal to g plus j omega c okay if you are going to divide two values in rectangular form means we have to use only the polar format okay do you understand if you are going to divide gamma and z naught we have to use only the polar form so here we have to use the polar form of gamma that is 0.18 with angle 86.82 is it not value is 40 with angle minus 2 2.86 okay so next we can simply divide these two values directly so 0.18 divided by 40 its value is 4.5 into the power of minus 3 here the angle okay so in case of division the angles can be subtracted okay so here 86.82 minus this minus of minus 2.86 so we are going to subtract this angle from this one so minus into minus plus this term becomes 89.06 okay so here we can again convert back into this rectangle form because we are going to equate the real part and imaginary parts together okay we can get the real term as 7.38 in 10 to the power of minus 4 and the imaginary term as 449.9 in 10 to the power of minus 4. Then we can equate the real terms and imaginary terms together. G is equal to 7.38 in 10 to the power of minus 4 more per meter. Here omega C is equal to imaginary term 449.9 in 10 to the power of minus 4. Then we have to move this omega this side and divide these two values okay we can get the answer as 8.95 in 10 to the power of minus 10 farad per meter can it can also be written as 0.895 nano farad per meter nano means 10 to the power of minus 9 so this is also correct this one is also correct